These are the new faces of parenting. Across the nation, more grandparents, aunts and uncles are raising their relatives' children. This growing trend, called kinship care, is becoming a common alternative to foster care. Mutual of America is proud to recognize the strength of these courageous individuals who sacrifice so much to keep their families together. In San Francisco, over the past decade, kinship caregiving has increased more than 35%. Most of these caregivers are grandmothers. That's right. Now let's see if you do it. Three. For these older Americans, this road is not easy. They suddenly find themselves assuming responsibility for their young grandchildren after losing their own children to drugs, illness, or incarceration. My daughter called me out from prison, told me that she was pregnant. I was very angry, you know, I was upset because um, I know that she was in drugs, um, in and out of prison. I just felt powerless. I began to question myself, what did I do? Why did this happen to me? It was all about the drug. It just took control of my family, my children. My children didn't belong to me anymore. Like Batania Sosa, Gloritha Langston was forced to take on the responsibility of raising her grandsons because of the ravages of drugs on her family. But she wasn't prepared for the full-time commitment of parenting a second time around. He needed more of my time, like reading to him when you don't feel like reading, laughing or going to the t-ball game, all those type of things that that that's when I really, really, really realized uh, what I had taken on. In downtown San Francisco, the Edgewood Center for Children and Families has joined in a unique partnership with the Departments of Human Services and Mental Health to create the Kinship Support Network. Since 1994, it has provided invaluable support to these grandparents and other kin caregivers as they face the challenges of parenting. With services such as tutoring, health maintenance, financial management, and recreation, Edgewood keeps families out of crisis and creates the foundation for a stronger community. If the caregivers didn't have a program like Edgewood, a lot of these children would return to the child welfare system. Since we've started our program, we've served about 1,800 children, and we have less than a 2% return to the public system. Founded in 1851 as a shelter for orphans of the Gold Rush era, Edgewood is one of the oldest charities in the American West. Through its history, Edgewood grew from a surrogate family to become a support system for families in crisis, working within the community to help keep families together. This kinship network exists because of the partnerships Edgewood has created with public and private agencies. So it's a cousin. It's a cousin. Edgewood's relationship with the Department of Human Services begins at the referral stage. Latanya Irby, the Kinship Network's emergency response coordinator, confers each week with a city caseworker. Presently, the kinship program has a contract with the Department of Human Services to serve so many of their families. They are able to refer adequate families to us, and the services that they can't provide, we can. So there are basic needs, such as providing an emergency food box, other simple needs, such as respite and recreation. We have our recreation director here who has ongoing recreation for both the children and their grandparents or whoever the relative may be. The heart of the program really is the staff and the large segment of the staff are caregivers themselves. They've been there, they've been through the same um, painful experiences with their own children, so they can really relate to, um, to these grandparents. I needed to talk to you. Over 50% of Edgewood's paid staff are kin caregivers themselves. But Tanya Sosa, who began as a client, is now a senior community worker. It made me feel so good that I could help other families and really do it from the bottom of my heart because I know the feeling of, of parenting our children's children. 
With Saturday morning aerobics, support groups, and events for the whole family, the Kinship Network creates opportunities for grandparents to come together and build a stronger community. Do the mashed potatoes. <laughs> I forgot how to do the mashed potatoes, though. That's it. While Edgewood offers activities for the grandparents, it also provides children with a safe place where they can learn and play away from the perils of the streets. Sonny Berry, the director of recreation, also serves as a role model for the kids. I have worked some with a couple of boys from time to time, and some of them have gotten into a little trouble in school or in the community. The juvenile authorities have been called in. And so what I try to do with talk to the boys around situations like that is tell them about the choices that they're making. They're good choices and they're bad choices. Which choice you think is good before you act on something? It's hard for my grandparents to raise kids, me especially because like my record, the past, I have involved some stuff about gangs and uh, um, tagging and stuff like that. And they found weapons in my room. One of the avenues that i found have been very effective with some of the boys from time to time is giving them responsibilities to be junior leaders in such a way. It gives them a sense of pride and it, it builds their self-esteem. I was bad. I, I had everybody didn't like me because I used to curse them out or fight. And then Sonny said, if you start helping me, I won't pay attention of the past. I'll let you be in the future. The older children are given the opportunity to achieve their potential through the Independent Living Skills Program, which focuses on meeting academic and social goals. My goals in life, I would like to go to college, major in computer information systems, graduate. But I'd like to ask you guys a question. I would like to hear, what are some of your goals in this room? I want to go to Xavier University and I want to major in child psychology, and on the side, I want to dance and sing. Edgewood really um, has adopted a different philosophy and has come to really claim the clients as partners. Because of that change of perception, there's much more of a sense of a partnership and much more of a sense of mutual support, and um, it makes this place very special. The impact of the program is far-reaching. Without kinship, countless grandparents would struggle alone and could lose their grandchildren to the foster care system. This innovative model saves the city of San Francisco millions of dollars. I think this is the model that we all should be looking at, where we're in partnership, and that it's not one or the other, but it's how can we maximize government funding to have better outcomes for children and families. For the cost of placing one child in an institutional setting, the Kinship Network can provide support for three families. I think one of the most exciting developments for us with Kinship is that we've evolved the program to a place where we feel we can begin to disseminate and transfer some of what we've learned to communities all over California and elsewhere in the nation. The great success of the Kinship Network has led the state of California to legislate the replication of the program in 10 other communities statewide. Edgewood is developing a training video and program manual and is providing technical assistance to the communities replicating the network. It'd be great if we could have this same program duplicated all over the nation. Uh, I'm sure there are relatives who are caring for children all over the world and don't have this type of service. The Kinship Support Network gives grandparents a renewed sense of community and purpose at a time in life when many feel isolated. The children get the kind of care and continuity that only family can provide. Children need to know who they are, where they come from. It's important that you know who your cousin John is and your Aunt Mary and what your grandpa did, and that makes all the difference and you see it with the children and you see it when they talk about the, the one person in their life who loves them the most, they will say, it's my grandma. And it's pretty wonderful when you know that someone loves you. The Mutual of America Community Partnership Award was created to recognize partnerships that demonstrate the power in joining together to solve problems in innovative and cost-effective ways. 
For their leadership in strengthening families, Mutual of America presents the 1998 Community Partnership Award to the Edgewood Center for Children and Families, together with the Department of Public Health and the Department of Human Services, for the City and County of San Francisco, for the Kinship Support Network.